step, we want to use the keyboard controls to actually move the arrow. I've added two lines of code. I've added underneath uh, the up options, we're going to change the Y value. This is like a grid system. The top left corner is zero, zero. If we move negative, we're moving higher. If we move positive, we're moving lower. And again, we're moving away from the left corner. So if we move positive, we move to the right. If we move negative, we move to the left. Let's take a look at it. So now I can move it up or right. You'll have to finish all the directions and you have one final challenge. What I want to happen is if you go into negative numbers and you're going to have to test so the whole arrow disappears. So it may be negative 30 that you'd be less than. You would want to have it rest the arrow reappear at the bottom in the same place like Pac-Man. If you get to the edge of the screen on the right hand side you would want to have it disappear over there and reappear coming back in on the left hand side. We'll take a look at that in the next step. I'll give you a sample on just the up arrow and you can go from there.